Worf Cloud is a powerful tool that allows you to use the computing power of the AWS cloud to run customized numerical weather predictions with a simple and intuitive user interface. After logging into the system, you will see different tabs at the top of the screen or in the pop-up menu for mobile view. An administrator will have all permissions and see, run Worf, Worf configurations, Worf jobs, manage users, and preferences. Starting with configuring a Worf job, you may see a 6 km Caribbean configuration if you chose to install the sample data with the system. The basic functions here allow you to search for a configuration using the filter, refresh the list of configurations, add a new configuration, edit an existing configuration, or delete a configuration. To create a new configuration, click on the Add Config button. The name field is required and the description field is optional. In the basic editing mode, you will be able to create the WARF configuration through the user interface without editing the name list files directly. Choose a geographic domain by drawing a box on the map. You can make any manual adjustments in the text boxes to the right of the map. Choose one of the predefined physics suites, and it is ready to save. After saving the configuration, it will appear in the list. Advanced Users, you may choose to click on the Advanced tab, where the name list files may be edited directly. Any changes made in the name list file will be reflected in the basic options. Now that your configuration is ready, we can proceed to run the WARF model. Click on the Run WARF tab from the menu to see the form to run WARF. Select the model configuration from the drop-down that we created previously and provide an optional name for this job. Choose the cycle date. Worf Cloud uses GFS data to initialize the model, so be sure to choose a time for which the GFS data are available. Next choose the forecast length and the output frequency. Click the Notify when finished checkbox if you want to receive an email when the Worf output data are ready. And then click Launch to start Worf. After performing an authentication and authorization check, the API will launch a cluster in your AWS account to run the model. The cluster will be shut down automatically when the job is either finished or cancelled by the user. When the job is submitted and starting, the application will automatically switch to the Wharf Jobs tab where you can see the status of all the jobs in the system. The Wharf Jobs screen will show a list of jobs in the system along with their status. If the job is finished, the status will be replaced with a button to open the output viewer. To see the details of a job, click on the row in the list. Along with the details, you will also be able to cancel or delete the job, open the output viewer, if it is finished, and view the log files to assist with any debugging. To view model output, click on the Open Viewer button, which will switch the user interface to the output viewer. The main portion of the output viewer is a map on which you can superimpose the data layers, animate the data layers through the forecast period, and switch the height selection for 3D variables. Click the temperature 3D to make the layer appear on the map. The data will be downloaded from the API as shown in the progress bar. The slider that replaces the progress bar can control the layer's transparency to reveal or hide the base map. A political boundary layer can also be enabled to help with a frame of reference. The simple animation controls at the bottom of the screen can step forward or backward, or animate through the entire forecast. The speed control can be used to adjust the animation speed for each frame. 
The currently selected time is shown to the right of the animation controls. The left side of the screen has a vertical level selector for pressure levels. Click on a different pressure level to select it. Be aware that the range of the color scale may change when you do this. The Manage Users tab will allow you to manage other users in your organization. The basic functions allow you to view the users, add a new user, modify and delete current users. To get started visit our documentation on how to install the Wharf Cloud system in your AWS account.